Hi guys, I'm Jamie the Spirit Coach and I am here to give you guys a general reading. Welcome Pisces, this message is going to be for you. Please do keep in mind these messages are general so it may or may not resonate for you at this time. If you feel this reading doesn't resonate, feel free to check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. There may be something in one of those readings for you, um, or it could just add to the story of one of, of actually this message. So um, what we're going to do is look at what's going on in the headspace, what's going on in your heart space, what is your body trying to tell you, and what is your higher self wanting you to know. Okay, Pisces, so we're going we're gonna to start by just pulling some overall general messages and then we'll dive deeper with the tarot and get more details okay for pisces spirit angels guides what is going on in the headspace for pisces what is on their mind spirit victory and success all right and then we have triumph wow six and seven okay pisces you're in a positive mind a positive headspace i feel for sure all right what's going on in the heart space wow <laughs> wow <laughs> these cards are like flying out okay so we got harmony and patience and then what's going on in the body for pisces what is their body wanting them to know right now? What is their body wanting them to know? Okay, we got trapped in fear and material harvest. I swear this card right here has come out for every single reading. <laughs> Almost, it seems. Okay, and then, oh wow, there's another one over here. Rest and rejuvenate, okay? Any more? No. And then finally, your higher self. What is your higher self wanting you to know? For Pisces spirit, what is their higher self wanting them to know? Solar plexus. Anything else? Nope. Okay. All right, Pisces. So, when we look at the headspace, you're thinking about something that just recent, maybe some recent victory has occurred for you, something to celebrate, something that makes you excited, something that makes you happy. Maybe you got the thumbs up to proceed on with something or to go after something that you had your heart set on um, and you accomplished it. You know, I feel like maybe there's already been a goal that you've reached um, or something has occurred that has accelerated you, that has brought you into a higher um, state of being, like feeling victorious, just feeling like, you know, you could just sing and dance and celebrate and shout you know that's that's type of energy i'm getting with all the orange and the yellow going on so yeah and like i said you're going from a six to a seven here this is and this is something you're thinking about so you're keeping your head in a positive space keeping your head on um your achievements keeping your mind on the things that have brought you success the the things that are positive for you right now your heart space, your um, there's a little bit of patience that's ha you know been required of you regarding uh, harmony in your life in general, like bringing some type of balance to your life. Um, it could be within relationships, but it could also just be you know in general balancing your finances, balancing your work life, home life, play life, like etc. Um, just having patience with yourself through that process um, your heart is reminding you again to remain patient through things because there is like a shift that's occurring for you so then we have here in your body your body is wanting you to maybe release some type of trepidations or fears that you kind of held on to we have an eight and a nine here another accelerating number so you know there could just be this could just be like little negative thoughts that come up you know self-sabotaging thoughts fears that that can typically hold us back 
um, that I feel like that's kind of showing up in your body in some way and making you feel like um, maybe a little bit tired, a little bit like you need to take a nap. Your energy feels a little a little low. Um, maybe you've been working really hard towards something, you know, whatever this victory or this success is that's occurred for you. You've probably just come out of a cycle of really putting in a bunch of hard work. Your higher self is really wanting you to be proud of yourself, like stand tall, stand strong, you know, stand in your confidence, knowing that you have done a great job. Yeah. Okay, so let's dive deeper into the tarot. Let's look at your headspace. Let's see what else is going on. What, what information can we get about this triumph? I feel like you're going full steam ahead, right? Like, heck yeah, man, celebrate. <laughs> okay, so what is going on in the headspace for Pisces? What else do we need to know for Pisces spirit? What else does Pisces need to know? What's going on in their head? Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, again, you're thinking about your money. Maybe you're thinking about work, thinking about, you know, savings, probably thinking about building building something um, stable for yourself, maybe thinking about like setting up retirement type money for yourself. The Four of Pentacles could be like clinging on, holding on tightly to something or, you know, just really um, just being tight with your money even. It could be like you're just not leisurely spending or anything like that. It may be holding out for something new. You're saving money to put towards a new um, may, new creative venture or new project or new um, something regarding the, you know, the material realm, the earth, earthy energy. So like our home, our money, our cars, our physical things that we have in our life, right? So there could be something that you have your eyes set on or something you've already gotten in your life that, that you had your eyes set on, you know? Okay, so what else do we have here for the heart space for Pisces? The world, wow. Okay, yeah, so we got the world with justice reversed and six of swords reversed. So I feel like, you know, You've come, recently come out of a cycle. A you've come into a completion of some sorts, right? Um, maybe with this recent, this last, the the full moon we had last month, and then this new moon we have coming, or that just recently passed. You know, there's some sort of new beginning that happened for you. Um, It could have been something that maybe held you back in the past. Uh, some type of karmic situation may have been holding you back from something in the past. But maybe that's what occurred. You know, you cut out something, cut something out of your life. What else is the body trying to tell Pisces spirit? What is their body trying to let them know during this time? King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. All right, so this right here is a perfect match. So I don't know if you come into harmony in a relationship or come into harmony with a, a business partner that's like very similar, has the same ideals, um, same goals, same dreams, things like that. Queen of Pentacles, this energy too is someone who, you know, this, this queen is proud. <laughs> proud of how far she's come. She put a lot of energy and effort and work into creating something for herself. Same with this king, you know, but they're a perfect match is the king and the queen of pentacles. So your body is telling you like you're in harmony with something. You're in alignment with something. Um, king of swords too is like more clarity, more um, understanding about what has occurred up to this point. And uh, again, like taking your power back, taking your sword and cutting out any thing that just wasn't wasn't doing it for you anymore so what do we have in the higher self what is else, what else does the higher self want Pisces to know regarding their solar plexus 
What else is the higher self wanting Pisces to know? That one wants to come to. Okay, so the fool, the magician reversed, and the chariot. Okay, <laughs> your higher self is definitely uh, supporting your decision in something. Like they're celebrating your guides. Your higher self is celebrating this triumph with, with you, celebrating this success. You took a leap. Um, I think you took a leap in cutting something out. You, you, you know, you have been kind of maybe waiting for the perfect thing to come in, waiting for that. Maybe it's the perfect person or the perfect time or it was, you know, the perfect job or something like that. But the magician reverse is interesting to me that with this coming from the higher self, this could have been like that block to showing up because it's reversed. This could have been like manipulation type energy. Um, I don't know if maybe, you know, this we can, we can create our own self manipulation in a lot of ways and talk ourselves out of doing things. But ultimately overall, I think that you have, um, you've allowed yourself to, release something and, and take a leap of faith towards something new charging ahead full for like i said you're you're going you're trudging forward full motion full steam ahead what else do we need to know from their mind okay so king of wands reverse King of Wands were, so with it in the upright, typically it's a king that would think about his actions. He takes action from a courageous place. He takes action from a confident place, from his heart. Um, like he trusts in himself. He trusts in the experience that he's lived up to this point. With it in the reverse though, you know, that could have been some type of self-confidence issue that you've had to work through. You do have the solar plexus showing up from your higher self so it you know i don't know if you're still maybe working through some of that energy still you know like reparenting yourself and boosting your confidence more i wanted to see yeah so king of wands reverse too is like being um impatient you did have the card of patience show up in your heart space. So this could, you know, you could have been feeling antsy to get, you know, to feel like you're in this victory, feel like you've made it to the top, feel this success, you know. This is like a passionate king, really passionate. Okay, so next up we have what's in the heart space. For Pisces, what else do we need to know regarding this harmony? Nine of Pentacles. How about that? Yes, definitely something to be grateful for. This is something that you can completely admire and appreciate and will, will be with you forever. This is something that's going to last. Something that is, it's fulfillment, you know, it's success, it's, um... It's just an abundance. It's, it's an overflow of abundance. And it's in the financial arena too. So it could be something material. Like you do have material harvest coming up in the body. So what else are we needing to know from the body here? For Pisces. Queen of Wands reverse. Why do we have these reversed energies with both kings and queens? Okay, so I don't know if at some point, like I said, if these are perfect matches. It's a perfect pair. You had that show up here. Where was it? Here. The King of Swords. Was it? No. I'm sorry. It was the King and Queen of Pentacles. You had a perfect pair here. And here they are again, but they're both in the reverse. And this is showing up in your head and in your body, right? So I don't know if there's some type of stagnant energy from a previous relationship or from if this is a if if this is a relationship reading um there just could have been like some disharmony at one point and now that there's a balance coming in with that.
and I think it, it is reassurance that, you know, this is, you're on the right path here. Okay, so what else does the higher self want Pisces to know, spirit? Seven of Swords and Six of Cups. Yeah, so I'm, your higher self is warning you not to, not to get tripped up by, you know, negative thoughts again with the seven of swords here this is like a kind of a deceive deceitful energy and it could be where we're deceiving ourselves or we trip ourselves up this also too could be where you're shocking the people around you um the people the, like this is something maybe out of your ordinary not something you would normally do it's just something like completely out of out, maybe out, completely out of character for you but it's it's I almost feel like it's sparking your, it's it's making you curious for more, right? Like it's making you want to, it, it brings more playful energy to you. It, it sparks an inner child energy for you, you know, it brings more color to your life. And it feels, I feel like it, it's something that when, when you, when you don't listen to these negative thoughts, you know, they're, they're, there's nothing negative that really shows up in this situation. Okay, so now what we want to do is get an oracle message for you, Pisces. Let's find out what your angels and guides want you to know right now. What do they want you to know right now? What's the most important message for you to hear in this moment? What does Pisces need to hear right now? The most important message they need to hear in this moment, Spirit. What is the message they need to hear right now for Pisces? From their angels and their guides. Play. Wow! And I was literally just saying, you, this energy, it makes you feel more playful. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Yeah, you're not taking life too seriously right now. You had another one that went flying over here on the side. Pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Wow! Yay! That's synchronistic too, Pisces. I was literally saying that you're sh you've shifted into a more harmonious energy. All right, so we're going to read the play card. Let's see. Maybe, if I can find it. I ha these cards don't have um, numbers, so it's hard to know where they're at in this book. There's no, um, ah, there it is. Okay, stop taking life so seriously. Your spirit needs to have some fun. The more you play, the more inspiration will follow. Take some time out to do something without being attached to the outcome. You are being called to rest and play and learn to have more fun. Do something that makes you laugh. The best medicine around. Call up a friend that you can be silly with. Take your inner child on a date. The more you switch off your mind, the more room spirit has to whisper and guide. When we do things without being attached to the outcome, ideas, clarity, guidance, and solutions have the space to drop in. The left and right hemisphere, hemispheres of the brain can begin talking to each other. Make play a compulsory part of your day. Schedule it. Spend more time doing things just because you love to do them. Just because they bring you joy and light you up. If you follow what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. For when you are lit up, you are in your spirit. And when you are in your spirit, you fall into flow with life. How do you play? What do you do to have fun? What lights you up? If you've been working really hard lately, it's time to celebrate how far you've come. All that you've achieved. Don't rush on to the next, tank, next thing. Take a moment to throw a party, go on vacation, or just have some fun. Yeah, Pisces. Allow yourself to play in this energy. Allow yourself to let go of the seriousness of life for a brief moment, right? 
It says, your pillar of light, you are heaven and earth in a perfect expression, a conduit for the light of the heavens to the earth. You are the rainbow bridge. Take time to meditate. Imagine yourself as a pillar of light connecting to the light of the heavens above with the earth. As the light shines through each of your chakras, you activate the rainbow bridge that many ancient scriptures speak about, raising your vibration and the vi vibration of the planet. Linking the higher realms of the cosmos, guides, angels, and spirit with the ancient wisdom keepers and beings of planet Earth. They dance together through you. They sing together through you. Without your body, voice, and creations, neither can be expressed. For too long, we've, ta we've been taught that God is outside of us, giving away our power to angels or spirit guides. But without you, they do not have a voice. You are the oracle. Do not look for guidance outside, for you hold all of the wisdom of the entire universe in the portal of your heart, in every cell of your body. Do not see the angels and guides as above you, for without you, they have no way of communicating. You are the oracle, you are the rainbow bridge, and you are the pillar of light. All right, Pisces, so that... It's some beautiful oracle messages right there. So, yeah, you are this pillar of light. I love how that energy aligns with the solar, plex solar plexus chakra because this is like our light source here. That This chakra, it's in our bellies. It's, it's in our, our gut. This is the I am energy. Okay, so now we're going to pull a rune for you and see what sacred rune you're working with during this time. For Pisces, what rune energy can we get, Spirit? For Pisces, what rune energy are they working with during this time? You got two of them. So we have Hagalaz, which says, Hail, dark feminine, destruction, transformation, past lives, healing, and potential. Seeds of icy carnage rain down, planting points of clarity and choice. The shattered ground on which you stand cannot stay frozen in its brokenness. Sprouts of life will emerge once the schism in your heart and soul have shifted, bearing a refreshed path. The ninth elder, Futhark Rune, Hagalaz, embodies the energies of the number nine. Quintessential in Nordic lore. There are nine realms connected by Yggdrasil. Hell, said to be ruled by Hagalaz, is the realm of the dead. Odin hung from Yggdrasil for nine days and nine nights before the wisdom of the runes were revealed to him. As a number of change, cycles, sacrifice, higher consciousness, and humanitarianism, Hagalaz is the destructive force of creation. It signifies that to progress further on a path, certain habits, hab, I'm sorry, certain habits, patterns, and old ghosts must be destroyed. There is hope that in the process, we are wise enough to not just pick up the pieces, but to leave some behind, rearranging those that still hold value, and reimagining an entirely new way forward. The chakras represented our heart and root, as well as crown. The elements are air and water. The tarot cards represented with this rune would be the death card, the tower, and the eight of cups. Your invocation says, Mighty Hela, Lady of Hell, cradle me in your dark womb of rebirth. Breathe cool air into my hour of incendiary transformation. I channel Erg, Norn of the past, to alchemize my history, honoring and releasing what was in the name of sowing my newly fertile fields of inheritance. And then next up we have Naughties, and it says, Need, Fate, Unconscious, Norn, Scold, Future, Realization, Protection, and Fire. Fate is determined both internally and externally to realize your highest achievements and truths. You must burn away that which has become tethered to you. Perhaps by no will of your own, heavy shadows must be recognized, rectified, and released before your ties to the material realm are severed. Intimately woven into the energetic purpose of scold, 
the norm representing the future and who was charged with cutting the threads of fate at the end of one's life. Not ease speaks to the necessary role of fear, doubt, and failure in an individual's evolution. Without mistakes, obstacles, and hardship, lessons could not be learned. In their absence, progress and realization may be stunted. The element of fire also plays a prominent role in the lore of in the lore of not ease. Harkening back to ancient fire worshipping cults who referred to their ritual kindling as need fire, a phrase commonly associated with the tenth room. In this way, not ease can be seen as a light cast upon the unconscious desires of an individual, acting as an internal kindling to face, accept, and assimilate the mire of the internal terracotta, which was once hindering positive growth. The chakras are the root, the solar plexus, and the crown, the element of fire, the wheel of fortune, death, and the sun card. Your invocation is, in gratitude, I ask for your ever-radiant, purifying fire to light the way to my brightest, most unencumbered future. All right, Pisces, that is all I have for your reading. I feel like you're being asked to um, maybe like hone in a little bit more on your fire energy. You did have these two show up in the reverse, both of these wands cards. This is King and Queen of Wands. This is the King and Queen of Fire Element, right? So... Both of these showing up in the reverse, in your headspace and in your body. Again, I feel like that's that's a call for you to let loose a little bit, to allow yourself to play a little bit, because you have transitioned into something new, okay? Your vibration has risen. You've accelerated, all right, Pisces? So that is all I have for you. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Again, feel free to hit that like button. Give me a follow if you haven't already or comment down below how the reading resonates. I love getting the feedback from you guys so much. Um, until next time, next time, Pisces, have a great day. Bye.